all of this, of course, surrounding such great tragedy today, the loss of seven lives. We have some videotape we found of uh, what this crew was like personality-wise. This, the following was taken while they were training for this mission that ended in disaster today. Uh, happy to be here, finally. It was a pleasure uh, to go the, the long way, two and a half years, because of the great team, great crew, great trainers, great fight directors, great engineers. The route to the target is more important than the target. We are going to go for the target, but we enjoy the, the route as well. That was working great. Just out of the screen, uh, to the right corner, and now coming into view is the commander, Rick Husband. In the back corner in the white shirt is Mission Specialist Kalpna Chala. She's working with a softball experiment, creating some uh, flame balls in space. Floating in the center of your screen is Israeli payload specialist Elon Ramon. No, I'm not worried because... Um I mean, he's not worried, so why should I be worried? Accident um, on re-entry. That last shot, uh, the father of Elon uh, Ramon, the uh, military hero in Israel, one of the seven lost today. It is also sad it would be easier incrementally, perhaps, if they weren't the very best uh, America and Israel had to offer. Uh, they have given their lives for the space program they loved so deeply. You saw the uh, broad, broad smile there of uh, Captain Dave Brown, the former uh, aerialist, the 46-year-old flight surgeon turned uh, 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 fighter pilot there on board the shuttle. Uh, uh, shown uh, at a much happier time. There they were preparing for their mission and uh, some of them, those scenes from in space uh, before what we learned uh, happened today. We've been talking a lot about debris uh, as we try to confirm the, the picture we put on the air for you of the house that had uh, apparently gone up in flames, whether that was uh, directly caused by this or not. Um, local weather officials, this is the Reuters news agency out of Dallas, um, uh, estimate that lighter material in the debris cloud could indeed fall and be kind of scattered and deposited around the nation in several locations and could, because it landed on the jet stream and was carried along, could go on for another 10 hours. And I assume by lighter material we are talking about any paper, any insulation, uh, things of that nature. So uh, just an extraordinary trail, uh, a gruesome trail uh, of evidence because what we're talking about here after all is so much more than the loss of a spacecraft and a loss of 25 percent of America's orbiting ability, but the loss of seven uh, dynamic lives today. We are waiting. We have just entered the three o'clock hour here in the east. Uh, perhaps we can show you what NASA is showing us. We are waiting a uh, news conference by NASA. This will be the technical portion, uh, and a lot of this uh, will no doubt be terms uh, that will go uh, flying over the heads of uh, those of us who are lay people in the uh, business of space travel. But this should begin to shed some light. Uh, there it is. We're going to be hearing from, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, shuttle program manager here and the uh, head of flight support uh, in just a few minutes. Whenever they take that slide down, uh, that is our cue to begin bringing you the uh, uh, telecast from NASA. Again, these are very, very sad people. They work as a team very closely with those they send up in space. It is their mission in life, and this was the mission they were so happy uh, to be able to greet at the end of the runway today when it came to its uh, conclusion. Uh, it did not. Uh, Rick Houck is still with us, uh, former uh, uh, shuttle pilot and 
Rick, I'm curious about the following dynamic. There will be a next shuttle pilot in this series of flights. How right. nervous were you? How much was it on your mind? I'm sure the media reminded you at every turn. Right. Um, there's no question that uh, right after the Challenger accident, the uh, unthinkable happened, of course. And, and so as my previous two missions, I, even though I was scared, uh, NASA had never uh, lost people during a space mission before, and, but on my flight, uh, that was not the case, and I have to admit to being, uh, my heart was in my throat when we launched. But I also was able to tell my family that NASA had done everything they possibly could to make that flight as safe as they could, and that's not a guarantee that you're going to come home. But uh, believe me, the focus of everyone, hundreds of thousands of people involved in this program, will be on making this right. And you have that comfort as you strap in to launch. Isn't it the same dynamic following a major air disaster in this country? People say it has never been safer than it is right now because it's under so much scrutiny. I believe that, uh, absolutely. Now, uh, explain, uh, given your uh, meteorological knowledge, uh, we're talking about an incident that happened at an altitude of approx, what, 50, uh, 38 miles above the Earth. Right. Um, at what level is the jet stream and, uh, and, and speed and duration, how far is it likely to carry bits of, say, insulation or paper? Well, uh, the jet stream is, uh, can dip as low as about uh, oh, 25,000 feet, but generally it's up in the 35,000 to uh, 80,000 feet and uh, people are familiar to seeing the jet stream on the weather forecast with that snake right. that winds itself across the country. But that, the jet stream typically moves at 100 to 120 miles an hour. So if you think of some light objects, certainly heavy objects will fall through the jet stream and not be terribly affected by that. But things that are light that would otherwise be blown by wind they can be captured in the jet stream and carried very long distances. And how does that make the job here more difficult? It's all evidence. It's all part of this yeah. mission. My guess is that the important parts are the heavier parts, uh, that the light parts are less likely to be involved with the, the accident, but even the heavy parts are spread over a, a large uh, area. So uh, in itself, I don't think that will complicate the uh, investigation more but uh, I would not be surprised if people far afield from Texas are finding uh, remnants of the, of the space shuttle Columbia. Again, to our viewers, we keep seeing this picture of a burned out home. We're working on getting the facts as to just what we're looking at. And if that is the home that corresponds to a report of a fire on the roof of an apartment in Texas that might have been connected with uh, a falling debris. A bit of housekeeping coming up on 3.05 here Eastern. We've now been told the NASA News Conference uh, start time will slide another 10 minutes to about 3.15 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, 